great, great moments, moments in troll history. history. But there are many states that are under threat right now, Derek. At least six, from the Carolinas right through Georgia coastline into Florida, certainly, and then also even into the Gulf of Mexico, Louisiana, Alabama, 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 Mississippi. You need to be on the lookout. Well, it is great moments in troll history. Some of the greatest. I mean, come on. He has managed to mind fuck the media so effectively through their own manipulative means. Okay, so they started this game, only he's a better player at it. Yes. Okay, so they start these smear campaigns and they lie and they get outraged at stuff, right? And they get outraged at the smallest, teeniest, tiniest. Like if he says the word the in the wrong part in a sentence. They lose their minds, right? Like, they're just going crazy out there, and it's what's so fucking hilarious. And so he catches on to that. He's obviously caught on to that and has managed to use it as a weapon against them. And it's so perfect because he needs to get his job done. They won't let him get his job done. So he just plays the bait and switch like, oh, look, there's a hurricane, Alabama. And then the news and media go all crazy on that. And then he trolls them with a cat meme, basically saying, hey, I'm trolling you, and you're doing exactly what I want. And they get mad, which is exactly what he wanted. So even in him, like, telling them, hey, I'm fucking with you, they managed to allow him to continue to fuck with them, and they just, like, go with it. Like, wow! Holy hell! How are you- how- I- I- Now, from what I understand, CNN <laughs> was saying that he's wrong, crazy, or incompetent for suggesting, or for- They did it first! For saying, for relaying that the, the information from the NOAA, that Alabama might actually get the hurricane. Turns out. Louisiana, Alabama, 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 Alabama. Yeah, they said it first. They said it first. It came from CNN first. Alabama, 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 Mississippi. You need to be on the lookout. Okay, apparently they have forgotten that they did that. All right, because it was mentioned toward the end of, like, the listed places. Yeah. So, perhaps the idiots that they are with the short mental capacities that they have, they may have forgotten, you know, the few hours prior to that. <laughs> Whoopsie. But you'd think that they would then stop and go, hmm, no, 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 they're tripling down on it. Yeah. No, instead of, like, admitting after people, like, replayed them their own fucking coverage, saying Alabama maybe, <laughs> they, they don't retract it. They don't go, oh, yeah, our bad. No, 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 no. They go, no, the president said Alabama. He was wrong. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. They, they're even worse than that. They're like, he used Sharpie on there. <laughs> That's horrible. He's supposed to use a dry erase marker. That's why it looks all messy. Look, I don't know what he was talking about anymore. It looks like a giant black titty nipple sperm thing. It's just, it's this over and over again. <laughs> so he used a fucking Sharpie. My God. Let the heavens rain fire. A Sharpie was, was used on a, on a weather chart. <laughs> it's a piece of fucking cardboard or paper with a picture on it. And he's drawing on it. And you all are losing your fucking mind because of the pen. He chose to use... Was it black and therefore it kind of sent you over... Did he use a black Sharpie? A brown Sharpie? What, what color Sharpie was it that set them off? Was it a red Sharpie? And they reacted like a bunch of bulls? And they're too dumb to realize that it's just the color and there's not a fucking thing you've got to kill? Alright? 
Or was it black or brown Sharpie, and therefore he must be racist for using that particular color of marker? What exactly about this Sharpie on a piece of fucking paper? Oh, it must be the cost of the paper. Is it the cost of the paper? <laughs> Bitch, anything, he paid for it himself. Oh, no, that's horrible. <laughs> No, because the last time they it's they like the, the last no the last time they bitched about him yeah. doing something like this, and they were bitching about the object. It was the cost of it, and they were like, "Oh my god, so much money, so much money on these frivolous things." Yeah, because you know, much like Obama, he was totally having parties almost monthly yeah. down in that fucking <laughs> lower right hand room of the White House. You know, the one that had the nice purple lights going on most of the time. The yeah, that was the party room for Obama. But yeah, let's not look at that misappropriation of funds. Let's look at Trump paying for shit out of his own pocket, and that's somehow wrong. That's crossing the fucking line. They must be angry about the paper that he fucking drew on. You know, well, I can guarantee you he probably paid for it. So, calm the fuck down. <laughs> Alright, calm. I can't believe that Sharpie gate. You're <laughs> mad over a pen? That is as dumb as the person who said that Trump shouldn't be president because of his bad hair. <laughs> I did not know good hair was a requirement for candidacy. <laughs> because if that's if that's how we're going here, Hillary has old lady football hair. Biden is going bald. Bernie looks like he's been standing in front of a campfire too long. And he just melted the ones right across the ground. It's like this perfect circle. Where he's like, or maybe his wife scared it or something. And so it ran. It's like running backward on his head. All right? You know, Camilla, she's got like, I'm from the, the, the mid-70s mom hair. She's like typical political hair that hasn't changed in decades. It's just, it's sad. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Tabby. Let's imagine it's five years ago, and mm -hmm. somebody tells you that in five years in the future, there will be a master troll. All the media will always report on it when this person trolls, and it's sort of nation news all the time. You know, at least a few times a week, this person trolls on Twitter, and they freak out over it. And it turns out it's coming from the Oval Office. It's the president, the commander-in-chief himself. I wouldn't have believed it, but I would have secretly just been like, yes. Yes, let that be my future. <laughs> yes. I would have been so happy. You know, but yeah, it's not something you actually believe will happen. But if it does, you're just like, there might actually be a god. <laughs> I'm sure that took a few atheists by surprise and maybe made them think there could be a divine. <laughs> I think there is a god. Because I, a I questioned. I went, wait a minute. Is God a troll? Yeah. Is God a fucking troll? <laughs> wait. There could be a god and he's a troll? Okay, I'll follow this asshole. I can't trust him. But I'll follow him. <laughs> he's a fucking troll. Okay, I gotcha. Ugh. I see what's wrong with you. Okay, I can respect that. <laughs> One troll to another. I can't respect this. <laughs> I just, I think it's so hilarious. And the thing is, is like, they're going to try and go around this. Like, they're going to try and spin it as if, oh, we're not wrong. He did it maliciously. Well, then you must have done it maliciously before he did. I mean, if you want to use that particular fucking bullshit logical standard then everybody should use that standard against you. Yeah. Every time you assholes come out and say something and you get it fucking completely wrong, or it's not 100% accurate, then we should all rain hellfire down on you people. <laughs> you know, go to your houses and protest like you kind of love pushing Antifa to do to Republicans. If you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome. Punch some people in the face. We have seen demonstrations, and I think we've already talked about that around the country. Um, young people at Berkeley. 
And so as we encourage our young people to get involved, I thought it was a beautiful sight. What we've got to do is fight in Congress, fight in the courts, fight in the streets. Fight Oops. Don't forget to subscribe. And this video can be found on BitChute. And um, if you feel like donating to us, go ahead. We have a subscribe star. You can, you know, donate to us through that. We certainly wouldn't mind being paid for our hard work. We do work very hard. If you like it and you want to donate, go right ahead. Keep watching. Bye.